the pomegranate prince, a tale of generosity. Once upon a time, there was a young prince named Amar who lived in a magical land filled with luscious fruit trees and playful animals. Amar was known for his kind heart and generous spirit. He loved nothing more than sharing his wealth with his friends and family. One day, as Amar was strolling through his orchard, he stumbled upon a pomegranate tree that was unlike any other he had ever seen. The fruit was bigger than his head and glimmered like rubies in the sunlight. Amar plucked one of the pomegranates and sliced it open with his knife. To his surprise, the fruit was filled with a sparkling juice that smelled like rainbows and tasted like pure sweetness. Amar had never eaten anything so delicious. Suddenly, a mischievous imp appeared before him. Well, looky here, a prince with a taste for pomegranates, he cackled. Let me tell you a secret, my dear prince. This tree holds a powerful magic. If you eat only one of these giant pomegranates every day, you will become the richest man in the kingdom within a week. Amar's eyes widened with delight. He had always dreamed of sharing his wealth with those in need, and this sounded like the perfect way to do it. He thanked the imp and promised to follow his advice. And so, Amar began eating one of the magical pomegranates every day. Soon, he noticed that his pockets were fuller than ever before. He spent his riches on toys and sweets for all of the children in the village. He gave his friends and family generous gifts and even provided the animals in his kingdom with their favorite treats. Everyone in the kingdom loved Amar even more than they already had. They sang songs in his honor and cheered every time he rode by. And yet, Amar was not satisfied. He knew that there were still many people in the land who were struggling to make ends meet. One day, he decided to bring his wealth to them. He loaded up his wagon with baskets of fruits, loaves of bread, and sacks of rice. He set off on a journey to the farthest reaches of his kingdom. As he traveled, Amar encountered more and more people who were in desperate need of food and shelter. He stopped at every village and shared his bounty with everyone he met. He gave away his own clothes and blankets to those who were shivering in the cold. The people were overjoyed. They had never seen such a kind and generous prince before. They thanked Amar and begged him to come back again soon. And so, Amar traveled back across his kingdom, this time with a wagon full of smiling faces and grateful hearts. When he returned to his castle, he found that the pomegranate tree had wilted and died, its magic exhausted from his constant giving. But Amar didn't mind. He knew that the true magic wasn't in the fruit, but in the kindness that he had shown to his people. He vowed to continue his generous ways with or without the help of magic fruit. From that day on, the people of the kingdom knew Amar as the pomegranate prince, the most loving and generous ruler they had ever known. And Amar knew that he had found the true secret to happiness in the giving of his heart. The End